Well, hello loves, welcome back. Today I have a cookie recipe for you that I actually stumbled across and has become one of my new favorites to just kind of nom on all throughout the day. So I thought I'd share it with y'all. And today's recipe is pecan butter cookies. Oh, they are so scrumptious and good. They kind of remind me a little bit of a graham cracker, reminiscent of those flavors, so I know your taste buds are gonna love this. So let's get started, what do you say? So we need to take mm, two tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use butter too, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna take a quarter of a cup of pecan butter. Now, pecan butter is super easy to make. Just put about a half cup of chopped pecans into a food processor until it becomes a butter. That's it. It's that simple. I'm telling you, and it's scrumptious. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love nut butters. I love all kinds of nut butters. I am digressing. So we need a half cup of coconut sugar and we need one egg. Now that egg should probably be at room temperature, but I have put it cold straight out of the fridge too. And now we're gonna whip this all up until it turns into a creamed mixture. Ah, oh, two of my favorite things. Nut butter and cream. Oh, it just always makes my mouth start to water. So this is what your mixture should look like. Now we need to take a half teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Throw that into our mixture. Ooh, I got myself dirty. Dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> okay, now I'm really messy. But then we're gonna add two cups of almond flour into it. And we're gonna mix that totally up until it is really well blended, and then we're gonna have cookies that we can stick in the oven and start nom and nom. All right, so it's now all mixed up and we have our cookie batter. Now we need to take about two tablespoons of batter. I've got a cookie baller right here. It's about that much. And we are going to roll little balls and place them two inches apart. These are gonna be monstrous cookies. Monstrous cookies, monstrous cookies. I got monstrous cookies right here. So we're just gonna do that until the cookie sheet fills up with balls. <laughs> Now we just gently flatten the tops of them. Now they are ready to put into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, just until they start getting toasty brown on the edges. So come on, let's stick them in. So good, so good. Cookies, 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 cookies. They are fresh out of the oven and we have let them sit for about five minutes because they need to cool and set up. And then you can either break right into them now because if you're like me, you can't wait for cookies. So they smell amazing, by the way. Absolutely amazing. I can't have just one. I have to have two, three, maybe even four. Mm, they are gonna taste so good. That's some mad ball fondling skills right there to have cookies turn out that perfectly happy and good. But we need to try one, right? Cause like what good is hot cookies if you don't eat them? They have a great crisp on the outside. Look at how scrumptious that is. And they are soft on the inside. Perfect. Makes you just want to purr. Mm. Oh, I love that crisp little outer crust of it. Mm. 
And they're a little chewy too, which I like, but they are so dense and so tasty. The sweetness of that pecan butter, oh, is just scrumptious. I love the flavor and the texture that that almond flour gives too. Oh, it's so scrumptious. It just fills my mouth up with deliciousness. Mm. I really can't stop myself from eating them. So I hope you love them as much as I do. I love you.